This is the proposal to develop a new aerospace technology. The future is now. The main characteristics are the following. Hypersonic speed in the atmosphere. Speed of light in space. Built-in warp technology. Particle deflector shield. Anti-gravity system. Artificial gravity. 12 degrees of freedom. Control by artificial intelligence. The shape of a flying saucer is the optimal geometry for this type of aerospace vehicle. However, it is also possible to apply this technology to any other geometry. They would be totally reusable ground space vehicles. From and to any existing airport in the world. No large facilities are required for its launch. Light vehicle does not require large thrust forces. Does not require huge fuel tanks. It will be provided with an anti-gravity system to reduce its inertial mass. The anti-gravity system will allow to suppress the attraction of the planet. It doesn't take multiple stages to get out into outer space. It does not expel gases or particles or debris of any kind. Will be able to reach speeds greater than the speed of light in space. Zero emission of waste or polluting gases, it is a totally clean technology. It will feature a high-energy particle. Gas and space dust deflector shield to prevent damage to the ship and crew. The anti-gravity system is used to counteract planetary attraction. Does not require the use of a parachute to reduce landing speed. Does not require heat shields to reduce frictional heating in the atmosphere. New Aerospace Technology. The future is now. This is a real proposal to develop a new aerospace technology. The proposed prototype of a flying saucer is assumed for its optimal aerodynamic characteristics. It uses a propulsion system different from the conventional one to exert thrust using minimum energy. It will be able to reach warp speed. Engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero may offer a hardware demonstration, but not for free. This new technology is a solution for many industries. In this image the energy and the time required to reach the speed of light is plotted in relation to the mass of the vehicle. The larger the mass, the more time and energy is required. We note that energy consumption is negligible compared to current technology. In this other image we observe the behavior of the vehicle's acceleration from the reference frame of the same vehicle. This behavior is so due to the characteristics of this new technology. We highlight the fact that the mass of the vehicle does not change at any time as its speed increases. Please. 
For a more extensive explanation in relation to this topic, watch the video on this channel. Crossing the limits of the speed of light. This image summarizes the behavior of spacetime distortion due to the nature of space travel at the speed of light. Please, for a more extensive explanation in relation to this topic, watch the video on this channel, Crossing the Limits of the Speed of Light. In this image, the proposal of the engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero is summarized. Directed to the engineering team that is required to develop the different components of this new technology, of which he has knowledge and will make known according to this workflow. To test and perfect all these systems, small-scale vehicles can be developed, in time to use them as robotic probes, similar to rovers, but with many more advantages. Companies with the capacity to make a reasonable investment to develop this new technology can make contact at the indicated addresses. Please join this channel on Patreon and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up to date with new videos. Thank you very much for watching and sharing this video.